Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another character spotlight video for today. This one is going to be doing a character spotlight video on Dale for this uh, this week's Saturday spotlight video. So, this is a really cool one because, of course, Dale has not been in the series since season two. So, that is literally like, what, like seven years since his character has been killed off. So, yeah, this is going back a while, of course, all the way back to season one and two for the Walking Dead television series. This one was suggested, and this week's uh, shout out is going to go out to Neil for suggesting this uh, character spotlight video for um this character spotlight so uh i'm really excited to so shout out to neil of course for this uh, character spotlight now of course weekly uh you know the weekly deal of course whoever comments for next week's character spotlight first uh i will pick the first comment and of course uh, you will get a shout out in next week's video so comment quickly because i'm not sure how many people are going to comment for uh, this uh, next character spotlight video so uh of course for this one i mean dale is such a cool character i you know a lot of people they were really disappointed that Jeffrey, uh, what, what's his name? Jeffrey DeMond, I think is his name. Uh, that, you know, he wanted to leave the show, so they basically killed him off. And he was supposed to survive, actually, for a while. But they, of course, didn't go that route because he wanted to leave the show. The actor wanted to leave the show. But I really do like his uh, character. And I, I think one of the biggest things about his character is the Dale face. You know, the, you know, <laughs> so, uh, there's so many, there's so many, uh, times where he does that same, you know, face, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, like, like, you remember, you remember the time too in, uh, the CDC where he's like, you don't get to come into someone's life, you know, talking to Andrea and just check out, you know, and he's like, you know, <laughs> so I, I really like, uh, the, the Dale faces is what they call it. He's done a lot of those Dale faces, but of course this season, uh, you know, with season one, uh, to, you know, start off his character, he was of course, uh, kind of, you know, your standard, you know, uh, you know, probably, you know, 60 or 70 year old man, that cares for everybody in the group and, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, has a, a, a really good friendship with, uh, you know, uh, Amy and uh, Andrea, of course. Uh, they were the only two people that he cared anything for uh, after his uh, wife passed away or whatever. Uh, cancer is what it was, of course, when he told Andrea that. And then Amy died and that really, really hurt uh, Dale quite a bit. And then, of course, Dale, uh, you know, of course was, you know, kind of, you know, I, I mean, in the comic book series version, Dale and Andrea were a couple, but then of course at the CDC, when they go to the CDC, of course, uh, when Andrea wants to, you know, just commit suicide, basically, he doesn't really let her. And, uh, he basically says, if you're staying, I'm staying. So of course they both leave together. So after that, I mean, Andrea's pretty, uh, pretty mad at uh, Dale for, for pretty much the rest of his story. Um, they don't really talk much. They're not really kind of, uh, you know, they're not good. They're not, they're not cool with each other. They're, you know, Andrea's mad at him. Dale is trying to, you know, get Andrea to forgive him for what happened at the CDC, but just doesn't really work. So, of course, in season two, they end up on the farm, of course, and he, you know, throughout this point in time, he really starts to learn who Shane really is and, he really starts to kind of see uh, what kind of what kind of man he is, you know. Uh, he knows right away, you know. Uh, you know, like when when he goes to aim the gun at Rick, you know, he knows. He he figures him out, and of course, uh, you know, he kind of gets a bit more of an idea, especially after they go looking for Sophia and uh, Shane and Andrea come back, and you know, Dale can just tell something happened between them two, you know. Uh, and then Shane threatens Dale, so <laughs> that's something. So of course, that scale uh, scares Dale, uh, and he decides to hide the guns. And Shane, you know, he's like, uh, hey, we haven't been in the swamps much, huh? You know, and it's just like, uh, and he's like, am I going to have to kill you? Is that what it's going to take? And Shane's just like, you know, like, really? Like, really? Because, yeah, like, Shane's just, he doesn't take Dale seriously. You know, he's like, do I have to kill you? Is that what it's going to take? And he's like, really? That, oh, yeah, okay, that's what it's going to take, you know? So you got you got to love Shane, of course, but... You got that, of course, and uh, and I really do like the part where he's like, you know, but what I can say is that, uh, you know, uh, when the world falls apart, I didn't let it take me down with it, you know? So, and yeah, that's that's true, because it, that's really what happened to Shane, is the world really took Shane down with it. Um... That's pretty true, actually. So then, of course, uh, and I, I really like to after the guns and after the whole Sophia thing, uh, him and Dale are talking. And he's like, he's like, what, what do you do to keep this uh, camp safe? You know, what do you do? You fix it up an RV, you babysit some guns, you even pointed one to me, but you, oh, you just couldn't pull that trigger though, could you? You know, <laughs> so yeah, you got all that stuff going. On. I, I really, I really like uh, just the scene. Some, some of those scenes between Shane and uh, Dale was just, oh my god, hilarious. So, uh, you know, you babysit some guns, but oh, but you just, you know. You couldn't pull that trigger at the one you were pointing at me, right? So, oh man, it's awesome stuff. So, 
Of course, you have the, you know, the stuff with him and uh, Shane going through. Of course, Shane gets worse and worse, more dangerous, more dangerous. And then, of course, when they capture Randall, and this is when we get near the end of his character, uh, he realizes that he's the only one that actually wants to save the kid. And he doesn't want to be a part of, you know, killing this kid that they really probably didn't need to kill. Now... Yeah, so of course he leaves, and then of course you have the walker who, uh, you know, ba basically tears him open, and you have uh, Daryl who shoots Dale with the Sorry Brothers. So, um, really do like Dale's character throughout the series. I, I really think that uh, he's a character that is, is going to be missed, and he already has been missed for the last like six or seven years since he's been gone. And yet, yeah, he was he was a fun character for sure. You know, he's got the rifle and. You know, he's, uh, you know, he's got the RV and stuff, and you got the stuff with Andre, him and Shane, and yeah, yeah, I, I like Dale's character throughout the show. I, I really do think he was, uh, he was a good character to watch for sure. So, uh, he could have, I wish he would have lasted longer, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. So, I knew he would have if the actor didn't want to leave. So, of course, uh, write your comments. What character spotlight do you want me to do next? Of course, write that down in the comment section below. Catch, uh, tomorrow's video, uh, the last video before the finale of The Walking Dead Season 9. Um, episode 16 of course which is called the storm so i mean write your comments below about dale's character really excited to see what you guys think about this one and what character spotlight are we doing next week that is up to you if you are the first comment then you will get a shout out in next week's video so uh yeah i'll leave the video here guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out